How's it going, chicks and mates? This is Mr. J. Charles, and we are back with Zoo Tycoon. And, you know, I forgot to name some animals, didn't I? Yep, my African elephants need naming. <laughs> I love how Pingu's there. Why did I name a lion Pingu? I wonder if that's going to like affect how everyone sees Pingu now. Like, knowing that Pingu was once a lion, now he's a penguin. And maybe, like, in five years in the future, he'll appear in, like, a Marvel film or some shit. I don't know. It appears like Howard the Duck or some crap. But anyway, I think we're going to start by naming the elephants. Now, I don't actually know what origin these elephants should have, but let's just go by their name. So I'll call the male elephant Henry. He looks like a Henry. I don't know why. And let's call let's call the female elephant Magna. Magna? Magma? I know I know a girl's name is called Magna. Magda? It's something. It's Mag something. Now I'm just going to call her Mag. Or Meg. Let's call her Meg. Because that's a problem. Meg's died. Why has Meg died? Meg, are you okay? Meg, you are very flexible for an elephant. Well, fine. Okay. Meg is a gymnast. She friggin' won, like, all the gold awards at the Olympics. Like, that's the thing with Meg. In any, like, Olympics thing, they have that flexibility thing. But once in a while, Meg will come along... Freaking, like, use a trunk to throw off whoever's performing and then do our own tricks. And then Henry is just there in the audience like, oh my god, what the hell is she doing? So yeah, that's the origin of Henry and Meg. Meg's a maniac and Henry's just like, why is she a maniac? Uh, short fin Mako sharks. Well, they pretty much copied Hulk Hogan and Hillary. I would call them the same thing. In fact, maybe I'll make them politicians. Okay, uh, uh, I, I don't know that many politicians, to be fair. All I know is Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Because it's been everywhere on Twitter. Uh, crap. Well, I guess I know Bill Clinton. I mean, he was president. I should know that. I should also know Barack Obama, who I completely forgot when I was doing this. But I've, I've made Bill Clinton a shark now, so no going back on that. I really want to call the female shark Michelle Obama. But I have a feeling... If Obama sees this video and then notices I have Bill Clinton and Michelle Obama in the same pen, he's going to beat up Bill. So I'm trying to think of any other politician, but I can't think. Oh, wait. Oh, well, I know a prime minister in Britain. Uh, You know, what? Margaret Thatcher. Yeah, this is like before they were politicians and crap. Before they were human, I might add. Bill Clinton and Margaret Thatcher had a thing... In a shark zoo. I don't know, they were trying to cure cancer. Isn't everyone these days? God, my ideas are really fucked up sometimes. Okay, uh, so the tiger sharks. Um, I think, what do we got to do? We got to make an exhibit for them. And then we got to get a good exhibit rating for all the other animals. Oh, there's great white sharks too. Do we have any great white sharks? I don't think we do. We have hammerhead, we have whatever those guys are. Margaret Thatcher, what's your species? <laughs> Margaret Thatcher looks overjoyed. Oh, she looks very overjoyed. It's been said twice. Uh, wow, she's got a hundred happiness. What? What are you, Margaret Thatcher? Give me information on you. Short thin mako shark. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so exhibit a suitability rating of at least eighty-five for short thin mako, and then. We need to earn exhibit suitability for at least 85 tiger shot. God, this, this scenario is going to be finished in like seconds. I'm just saying. So I guess I'll make something for these tiger sharks then. I could try and make something really small, but I'd feel bad doing that to these animals. Uh, friggin... Let's get something here. So do that there. Then do this here. And then put this here. Perfect. Oh, hold on. No, it isn't. Because there's no end bit. I hate that about these marine like exhibits. You have to complete the whole thing. You can't use the fencing that's made already for you. Oh, it might as well be. There, I got a tank. whoop de doo Okay, now I've got my tiger sharks. How do they look? Do they look sexy? Well, they don't look like tigers. They look like sharks, though, so I can't I can't criticize that. You sharks happy? Is it too small for you by any chance? Oh, the tank is too shallow. Well, that's better than saying it's, like, too small. 
Is that good enough? It's still too shallow. Why don't I make it all the way to heaven? Why don't I do that, you stupid ass sharks? So, followed rocks and shelters. I don't suppose you guys are original and like seafloor caves. No, I didn't think so. Why is it sharks obsessed with sunken ships? They like the idea of mankind sunk at the bottom of the ocean. That's nice of them, isn't it? To some ruins. Are those ruins? I wonder if I... Should I... Mm. Are you fine with just that? Okay, they're fine with that one ruin. That's good. The more one looks pretty. Can I have some clam beds? Oh, I like clams. I like fish in general, but I like eating them rather than watching them live. Now you've really got a diverse selection of sharks in your zoo. To allow the researchers time to analyze their data, you should care for the donated pair of giraffes that wait near the zoo entrance. <sighs> well, I mean, it's a good thing to have a diverse zoo, but can't I choose some of the animals? Or can't we have something that's not from the savannah? Can't we have, like, an Asian animal? Or a... Hmm... I just want a polar bear or something from the Antarctic. Well, this is a diverse zoo. But you know what? Let, let's take a break from all these zoo animals. I want to make some restaurants and crap. Oh, look. I can have a, sh a show grandstand. Now, why don't I just, like, put five of them right in front of the sharks? You can pay this much money to watch them swim about and do nothing. Yes. The ice cream stands. Now, of course, I'm going to need at least 12 of these. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I only say 12 of these, even though this realistically wouldn't happen. Realistically, when we get a zoo inspection, everyone's like, oh, okay, this animal's doing good. Yeah, this animal could use some more shrubbery. The zoo inspector would be like, why the fuck do you have so many ice cream stands? This is a zoo, not a fucking ice cream world. But you know what? These things make so much profit. So you know what? Have all the ice cream stands you want, people. I'm sure you got to eat something anyway. You know, just in case, like, when they've had so much ice cream, they need the toilet and need to shit out ice cream. Here's a, here's a restroom. And to top it off, I, well, maybe I'll have two more things. I want a restaurant and a gift shop. So I guess I can put the gift shop over here. And where are the restaurants? Damn it, there's no restaurants. There's an Atlantean gift shop. There's gift shops everywhere. Oh, there we are. Okay, restaurant. Okay. You know what? I'm going to call this restaurant the same name. And I'm not even lying. This is the same name as one of the pubs I go to in Bournemouth. Sharkies. Sharkies rocks. I mean, Sharkies isn't £15 a person, I guess. But still. And I'll call this gift shop... Koala World. Now you may think Koala World is weird for a shark zoo, but has anyone noticed there's a frigging koala in that Jack in the Box? That makes literally no sense. I mean, I know it looks appealing and stuff, but would it make more sense to be able to choose the animal you want in there and then just have like a frigging shark on top? Oh, look. Henry's fainted. Henry's dying and Hulk Hogan can't find food. This is turning out to be a great zoo, isn't it? Oh, who's not treating Hillary Clinton right? Where's my bloody marinist? And why is my fund so low? I am so poor right now. I've only got 18,000. I mean, that sounds like a bad thing. Yes, go marine specialist. Go. What gender are you? Are, are you? are you male or female? You look male to me. Uh, Well, if you're a girl, I'm going to feel really bad. But I'm just going to call you Peter. Peter the marine specialist who deals with feeding sharks. And somehow he has not been eaten alive yet. That's fine. And I think the zookeeper's a girl. So, oh, Margaret Thatcher's given birth. I don't know who's the daughter or son of... Oh, no, she's had twins. Oh, God. Margaret Thatcher, we can't have little yous. Margaret. Margaret, what did you give birth to? A female and a female. I'd love to believe that means we have lesbian sharks, but A, this game doesn't like lesbians, and B, they're sisters, so that's, that'd just be incest. Fine. Hiller, Hiller. What politician did I know? Was, did I say Margaret Thatcher? Yeah, I said Margaret Thatcher. Okay. So I'm guessing their last names has to be either Thatcher or Clinton. Oh. What have I, what have I put myself in? 
I don't know Thatcher's children. You know, I'm going to search on the internet right now. Does Margaret Thatcher have children? And if she has two little girls, I'm going to be scared. I'm going to be so scared. A daughter, okay. Mark, Thatcher, and Carol. Damn it! So she had two children, and she... D oh. Okay, so I looked at the internet. She actually has a boy and a girl. So I'm going to do the girl's name, which is Carol Thatcher. Never heard of her in my life. Now, I would call, uh, friggin' the other one, Mark Thatcher. Except I wouldn't want Mark to be insulted if he saw this, and, you know, I'm not gonna be harsh on this shark and call it a guy's name. Because, can you imagine that? If we had, like, a tour guide come to this exhibit and be like, Oh, yeah, Margaret Thatcher had two children. That sounds so stupid. But, yeah, Margaret Thatcher had two children, and they're both girls. One of them's called Carol Thatcher. And then he doesn't even try to say the other one. And then some little girl in the car is like, Oh, what's the name of the other one? And then he just murmurs under his breath, Mark Thatcher. And just pretends that he... Yeah. That would be awkward. Okay. Um, let's pretend... Let's say... Uh, I wish I was Margaret Thatcher right now. Because then I could know what she'd call her second daughter. You know what? I like Penelope Thatcher. That sounds like a nice name. Margaret Thatcher, Penelope Thatcher, and Carol Thatcher. And you know what? Bill Clinton didn't even get a child. Maybe I should have thought of that. Maybe I should have thought, like, maybe Bill Clinton has some daughters I could use. But never mind. Okay, so our empire is expanding. We have elephant poo everywhere. We have Margaret Thatcher and her children. And we have tons of crap going on, which I don't even know. I've messed up this zoo. I made it a politician's paradise. But anyway, that's fine. You know, these drafts are probably going to be like Russia's politicians or something. I don't know. But you know what? We shall see all that in the next episode. Look out for my books, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, see ya.